Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Vivid Voltage video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at an Archeops deck. Now this is a deck that kind of I got inspired from, from a subscriber who entered a tournament a while back and played an Archeops Lycanroc deck to the tournament. I've taken the idea of playing Archeops because um, I kind of forgot about this card and I was like, yo, maybe we can try it out, especially in this format. Hyper Beam might have some value for one energy. You can discard an energy from your opponent's active. You also have U-turn so you can hit and run and maybe hide behind an Altaria. Um, so that's pretty much the idea of this deck is just use all Archeops, Hyper Beam, remove an energy from your opponent. We have Crushing Hammer to help us reach things. We have Miraculous Charm and Altaria as like a backup. I even play an Aerodactyl to have the option to go Wild Dive and of course Primal Winds. And I have that one identified fossil alongside the three resource that will help us get there. So there's a lot going on in this deck. Um, but honestly, the video turned out pretty cool. You'll see what I mean. So before the video, guys, of course, check to sponsor Karkam and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO hack codes, get them over at Karkam, guys. Karkam and Dell sell PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking for any set codes, whether it be Vivid Voltage, Dark of the Blaze, Team Up, Sword and Shield, Base Set, Rebel Clash, get them over there. Or if you're looking for a specific GX or V code, like that ADP Zacian Battle Kit code, get over at Karkam, guys. If you do get any codes over at Karkam, guys, make sure you use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout helps the channel out helps yourself out and help out car cabin too so shout out to car cam guys check them out and use code if you get any codes also quick shout out to gg tour guys there is a three thousand dollar prize pool tournament coming up um on the 23rd of january it's a regional style event it's like two days top eight is casted by me and azul again top 32 gets paid out out of a three thousand dollar prize pool there is a ten dollar entry fee but if you use my referral code ldf2 when signing up you get in for two dollars off um it supports the channel helps yourself out so if you want to sign up, you're interested in playing in this tournament, check it out. Link will be down below. And again, use referral code LDF2. Let's look at the list. So yeah, Archeops. Kind of forgot about this card. The idea of using Lycanroc does make sense because Lycanroc combined with Hyper Beam is a good combo. But I've kind of taken a more tactical approach. Uh, the other issue with Lycanroc is I just couldn't find enough room in the deck to play it. Um, I found Altaria to be a bit cooler because you can use Altaria and take advantage of the ability to have, you know, that wall with uh, U-Turn. You can take advantage of Archeops' two attacks, right? Hyper Beam, remove their energy. You can then use U-Turn board to hide. One of the main issues I found with this deck and uh, was that you have to play a lot of stadiums, right? We have to play Research Lab to get the Archeops in play. We also have to play Dojo because Archeops only does 80 damage, 40 damage. It's a very weak attack. 80 damage is not what it used to be. Um, we have to play Dojo to hit a little bit harder and that's just the sad reality of it. Um, so I had to play five stadiums. I didn't want to play six. Six stadiums is a little overkill. Um, so I'm playing three research labs and two dojos. If you don't find research lab, we have four Drachi to help us get there. We can always sit behind an Altaria and then research lab. So it's not too bad. I wish I could play more undying for fossils. One issue is also space. I am playing two Evo Incense, four Great Balls, one Calm to go with our Pokemon Search. There's no Quick Ball in the deck, as you can see. Um, I'm actually playing Capture Energy to help find basics. We only play six basics, right? We don't want to play too many basics. We want to start with Jirachi a lot of the time. Um, you know, Archon, Fossil, they're not basics you can open with, so we have to play just four Jirachi, two Swablu. So I'm not really heavy on the basics in this deck, so I'm only playing, you know, the search we got. There's no Quick Ball in the deck. I don't think you need it. I'm going to support, we've got two boss, four Marnie, four Research, one Air Balloon, uh, just give like Altaria for your treat. Uh, I wouldn't mind maybe playing two of these. Uh, then we got two Captures and eight, uh, eight Basic Fighting to round out the list. Uh, this is the list I got here. Um... Any changes I would make to it would maybe try to fit in like a Team Yelgrunt or two. Maybe play another Switch Out, like play another Air Balloon, play another U-Turn or something. Maybe play a Scoop Net or two. It's, it's just a bit of a tight on space type of deck, guys. That was my main issue with building this was... I, there's just too many things you want to put in here, right? I want to play the Hammers to consistently go with Hyper Beam. I want to play five Stadiums. You know, we need a lot of Switch Outs. It's just too much to put in one deck. So I had to kind of take my losses, cut certain things from the deck to make it work. But overall, the deck still played fine. You'll see, I, the first game was great. You guys are going to like the first game for sure. So let's get into it, and let's check out the deck. All right, guys, get into our first match with Archeops here. We'll see if we win the coin, but we do not. I think we're playing against ADP. Just taking a wild guess, judging from my opponent's deck box and sleeve. It's ADP, right? He's got the Arceus coin. He's got the, he's got the Z Zam Zacian deck box. He's not being very subtle about it, to say the least. Uh, we do have a... Uh, not the greatest hand, to be honest. Uh, well, maybe. We need to get your boy. I don't know what your boy is. Your boy's a research lab. We could try to go double Jirachi here, I think, which is what we're going to have to do. Yep, there is Zam. Could be a Luke Metal deck. There's a research lab. I'll right, we'll just play the research lab then. Just play this and just go research lab. Just get the uh, Archons in play. 
And if we're playing it Luke Metal, I don't think we can beat it. Luke Metal, it's too much HP. It's not it's not a good matchup. And they also have a billion energy, so it's not like our injury removal tactics do much. We do have Swablu though, which we could use here. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, it is an ADP deck. Okay. That's we can beat ADP. ADP is a little bit easier to beat than Luke Metal. Right? Maybe we can run them out of waters. I doubt that'll happen. We'll see, though. We'll see, we'll see. It's probably it's definitely ADP, right? Unless they're, like, playing Mawile and Luke Metal, bro. The best the best tech card a Luke Metal deck can play, the Mawile, dude. The Mawile and Luke Metal. I actually wonder if they're going to Marnie me. I don't really want to get Marnied here because this is actually a pretty good hand. We can do a lot of this hand. So I'm hoping we actually don't get Marnied. See what happens, though. I guess Altaria is really good. We probably just avoid benching too many Pokemon. We can just body them with Altaria because if they don't have a counter to Altaria, it's like... We just win with Altaria. Pokeball, that's gonna get the ADP. Let's see if they get the metal energy on it. If they get a water energy on it and they don't AC me here, we can try to hammer it off. Or maybe Archeops it off if they retreat into it, which I doubt they'll do, but you never know. Yep, there's that big ugly card. I actually wonder, if they put in the active spot, I'm fine with that, because they didn't hit him with the Archeops, move the energy, or hit Edge and crush and hammer. It's like, you know, they want to bring in the active spot. I'm just saying, bro. I'm all, I'm all for it. There's a research. Oh my God, they play hammer too, bro. And everyone just plays hammer, not like this. Okay, metal. That's not a water. Let's see if they retreat into it. Like, there's a chance this guy doesn't know what the heck Archeops does. So he's like, ooh, Archeops. I don't know what that card does. And then we just remove his energy, hit him for 80, bro. Busted. Yo, one time, bro. Give us that ADP, dude. I know you want it. I know you want to, bro. Quick ball. He's probably going to get Zacian. No, Dedene. Okay, that's good. That's, that's something we can boss out and knock out at any point, right? It's easy two prizes. Maybe we could try to get Aerodactyl in play here. That'd be pretty decent too. Aerodactyl's not bad here either. See if they drop the Dedene. I mean, do they have to? I mean, they probably want to get a Zacian, but they could just quick off for Zacian then. I don't know why they're Dedene. I mean, I'm fine with that, obviously, but I don't think it's the best play they could do because they're not going to AC me this turn. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely probably want to get Swablu in play. I think we just capture G the Archon. Go for Swablu. Seems good to me. See what they do here. Again, I want them to go into the ADP so we can remove their energy. Unless we get heads on crush and hammer, but it's like still good. No, they're gonna stamp me, bro. Why would you stamp me? Oh no. Well, we got the Archeops. Actually, this this hand's okay, I guess. We didn't get any energy removal cards, which is what I'm worried about, because unfortunately now we're gonna get the AC off. Cause, you know. <laughs> doing this effect for two energy is definitely a good 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 balance. Okay, perfect. Yo, what if they AC without the water? You imagine, bro? The butt. <laughs> is that how they're going to play around energy removal? Is that how ADP plays around energy removal? You just do uh, you do AC without the energy, without the water? Insane. Okay, let's see what we draw. Ooh, perfect. Actually, honestly, though, I think I just hold the hand. I don't really want to... I don't really want to play this research. I want to hold the uh, Altaria if we can. Well, I, honestly, though, I think we do want to get a switch out. We, of course, didn't find. Okay, we got our research then. It's unfortunate. Now we have to reveal we're playing Aerodactyl. I kind of don't want to do. Hope we don't with a switch. If we do, hopefully we get a Hammerhead at least. That could put us over the edge. No Hammer. We got another Archeops. We could put another Archon, Archon, Archon down, but nah, it's kind of silly. Let's just go for the Hyper Beam. Remove their energy. Hit them for 80, and maybe they don't AC me. They just need an E-Switch and a Water, so we'll see. But you know what? still worth a shot and if they do we can try to go into the altaria that's why i didn't want to research the hand away because i wanted to keep the altaria in our hand because we need it to go u-turn we just yeah i think we just avoid too many pokemon and we can probably just win with our with the archaeops altaria combo we can move their energy for a bit and then we can go archaeops there's the spinner there's the water energy yeah ac most powerful effect in the game for two energy Mhm. Mm they had it in their hand two energy for an effect that powerful cool 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 we could still remove their water, though, and prevent them from attacking me, which is still good. So it's like not like they could do Ultimate Raid next turn anyways. We could actually even find a Hammer this turn. I'm going to put energy on this. Actually, you know what? Do I research? I'm going to research again. I'm not going to Marty them. They actually they didn't play a Supporter last turn, so there's no need to give them a new hand. Ugh, we still can't find Crushing Hammer. No, dude. There's the Altaria. It's pretty good. Can play the dojo nah just uh u-turn isn't bad either because 
No, we just hit them for 80 and hope they don't have another E-Switch combo. I mean, they're down two saucers to E-Switch. There's a good chance they don't get this here. How much HP do they have up? 150. So we hit them two more times with Archeops. Again, most powerful effect in the entire history of the game for two energy. So we'll have to see if uh, they can win the game. We do have enough Pokemon in, in play for them to just win with boss. So we have to get that rod. And we also got to get Drop Shot before or something. We'll see what happens. Okay. They don't have the ultimate ray because they attach the metal. We do have a quick ball. What we actually could do also is we could try to just... Okay, now they not perfect. Now we can boss that at some point. We have to play Dojo though to knock it out, but... Still good. We can knock out ADP, maybe knock out Denny Bat to win. We haven't played a boss yet. We are down a few of our supporters, though. I want to get that rod really badly. I want to get back my uh, thing. Okay, now we can win with Altaria. Okay, they did have an E-Switch. They didn't have the water saucer combo, which is good. We can punish them with the crushing hammer. This isn't bad. Archeops controlling the energy. That's what you like to see against, especially against the abomination of an ADP. Got a calm. I don't even know where to play it, is it? Yeah. We still have all of our hammers, rods in there, but we have no way to put stuff. Ooh, we could actually lose this. We might have overbenched, to be honest. We'll see. We might have overbenched. Rod? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna hyper beam them again. We still. How, wait, actually, we haven't found a hammer yet. We still have all four of them. Where are they? Oh, man, not like this. I'm going to hit them for 90. I'm going to hit them pretty hard here. They have 6 HP. There you go. Speed dive. You know, cool stuff. They are down 2 Switch, 2 Saucer. There's a chance... Uh, chance gone out the window. They have the uh, Brave Blade knockout. Why, dude? Marnie? That's fine. If they don't move the ADP, we get to knock it out, which is pretty good. They're down 2 Switch, right? And they can't play an Air Balloon, so they have to find one of their 2 Switches. We finally find a Crushing Hammer. And our rod. Yeah, we don't find the rod. We got our hammer, though, but... Not looking great. We didn't get a supporter. We're already down a couple supporters. Oh, please don't don't tell me you got the switch. Let's go. We got the knockout. Ooh, two hammers. This could be really good. Oh, let's go, bro. Get bodyization. All right, hammer again. Outplayed, bro. Get outplayed. Just get outplayed. Get outplayed. We can shuffle the deck. So we have three... Three draw supporters, one boss. We have a boss prize. Not bad. Oh, we can't U-turn them, unfortunately. Yeah, U-turn, they still live with 10 HP. And I'm just going to Hyper Beam and knock them out and hope they don't respond with the KO. They are down one saucer. They have one saucer left. If they find it, they find it. The ADP usually always finds what they're looking for every time. We'll have to see. But now we can win by doing double boss if we get boss of the prizes. Uh, it's the top one. No, dude, dang it. Okay, they don't have it. Nice. Well, they could still Metal Saucer E-Switch, but why would you just not promote the same if they had that? I mean, ADP usually always has what they're looking for, right? It doesn't matter, but we'll see. Ooh, Jirachi. So we ever knock that out, we just win by a boss. We can win by a bossing out this. So actually, now we can knock out Jirachi if they don't move it, which could very well happen. They're down. They have one Switch and probably one Air Balloon left. Yo, Archeops is just about to solo an ADP deck. Oh my god. This is actually awesome. What is an awesome, however, is not drawing the boss. We can actually KO them with uh, the Altaria. They do play Hammer. We probably should have saved the energy then. I, didn't, I forgot they had Hammer. Totally forgot about them playing Crushing Hammer. So we can switch into the Altaria. We could switch into the Jirachi, but it's probably not going to move. So I think we... I mean, we knock him out. We just need boss to win the game, right? So it's like... I think we just take the KO here. Can we, we could kill with the Altaria, so I don't get a prize this turn. Let me just win by knocking out a Dene. Uh, they, just, they need an energy in boss. They're down... They haven't played a boss yet. They are down quite a few energy, though. I don't want to play the switch. I don't also don't want to Ah, uh, no, we'll hard retreat. That's fine. Yeah, we'll knock him out with Altari. I think it's better to play it safe. Let me just try to get the uh get get something on the prizes here that can help us. We just waited. we just went by Nagarization. Another switch. We can do double stellar wish. Pretty good chance actually of finding the boss on Dedene. They could Marnie us though. They are down one Marnie so far. But they Marnie us, that also puts us toward finding boss, which is not even that bad. 
we're also very far ahead still. Like, we, we have enough time probably to find the boss as long as things go well enough. So, it might be okay. And they do play the Marnie. Will they find the energies? That means they're not going to take a prize this turn, though, because that's not a boss, right? Speaking of boss... Let's go, bro! ADP! Who, bro? Oh, they could stamp me. I shouldn't I shouldn't get too excited. They could stamp double hammerheads me here. I should get too excited, but let's be honest. We just soloed an ADP deck and they didn't get a single prize. Even if even though they pulled off the AC. What? Yo. Yo, how does that happen? Let's go, Archeops. Yo, let's go. Taking a dub against ADP. Yo, get this. Get this balance deck out of here. Yeah, last boss was prized. Okay. We'll get, get ADP out of here. I think we can buy a pack two from the shop to celebrate our victory over ADP. I'd love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Yeah, we can buy a pack from the shop. Now, what do I want to buy, though? Undaunted? Unleashed? I don't know. What? what I don't even know what I want to get. Unleashed? What do I need from Unleashed? Now, nah, we'll get an Unleashed pack. Still want to pull Shaman. The only reason I want to buy Undaunted is because it does have, um... It does have Reverse Hollows in there that are, like, really good cards. Like, Smeargle, Vileplume, and Weavile, good. And Gluttony, of course, not bad. Do we get in this pack? I've opened up, like, a, a lot of these. Shaman? But we get Fero. Yo, who's main? Blaster! No! How have I not pulled a Shaman yet? Bro, not like this. All right, guys, get another match. I think we hit another ADP deck, considering the Dragon deck box. Back-to-back -back ADP, but... It's Ooh, this hand's actually not bad. We got the Swap Blue. The Research Lab just opening with it is awesome. Cool stuff. See, I want to play four labs, but it's like... It's such a dead card after like one turn. It's just not worth it. That's why I don't play any more than just one. Take the Air Balloon. Put that on the Swap Blue. We should probably play U-Turn Board in this deck over Air Balloon, but whatever. It's kind of too late. I don't want to change the deck now. We did probably some Archeop. So that's actually fine because we don't care because our game plan is always... Just... Altarius, right? Oh, but they have Aegislash. So we have to knock out Aegislash with Archeop before we get to use Altarius. And I guess after we deal with this Aegislash, we're chilling. I don't know if we can deal with it, though. It's pretty tanky. They're going to Dedenny their entire hand away, and they do lose some important resources. A Water Energy is a big discard. Okay, the switch is a little annoying, but I mean... Oh, they're perfect. Oh, but they could AC me still. If they don't AC me here... That might be their last water. They might never get to alter creation me, which is huge. No, Amarni. No, dude, this hand was so good. No, we're going to get a bad hand now. No. Yep, figured. Well, we have Jirachi still. They did whip the AC. The Marni is really annoying. Good old Marni given uh, always punishing you. So... I mean, I think we have more supporters, so we can Stellar Wish first. Yeah, there we go. Hold it. Uh, we'll play the Great Ball. No Archeops. We do get Altaria, though, which is fine enough, I guess. Still have to deal with that Aegislash, but... We'll see. Do we want to ever put this in play? We can always discard it, so I think we will, just to have it in play in case we do need to play. Now we just need to get a Switch and Archeops or a Hammerheads. Let's go. We hit it. Yo, never punish. I definitely... Yeah, see, this is why I want to play more switch outs. But again, I don't know what to cut. There's just so many things that this deck has to play. It's hard to make cuts in this deck, I feel like. We do get to Hyper Beam them. We get to remove their Water Energy, and they may not be able to do AC anymore. They could play three. They play, th they play three, they play three. We'll see. We also got rid of their big hand there, so they might not even have a way to even pull off an AC if they do have a Water at left. And they can... Two ADP dubs in a row. Yo, let's go, bro. Archeops, the ADP Slayer. What the heck? Yo, let's go. All right, guys, getting into another match. I think we ran into another ADP deck. This guy's got a metal deck box, so... What else could it be but ADP? Hey, that rhymed. I wonder if going second's fine, because then you can try to dig more for the uh, research lab. We'll see if it's another ADP deck. I mean, I do <laughs> it's like... I want to play against other things than just ADP, but I mean, if we're beating ADP with Archeops Altaria, clearly we're doing something right. So, we'll see. Um, our opening hand is not bad, I guess. The best top deck we can get is, like, a Swablu or a Research Lab. Zacian. Could be Luke Metal. I don't 
Uh, no, we can beat Luke Metal. If they play A Slash, though, we can't beat them. It looks like it is Luke Metal. They got Pokey Gear. It's going to trap your sword. I'll see how much energy they get here. One, okay. It's not two, which is good. They don't threaten that Brave Blade right away. We just top deck it. Yo, can we get a search card? Nope. It's going to fail the Stellar Wish. I don't really want anything, to be honest. And we're just crushing Hammer. Okay. We're just Research Lab. Got the two Arkins. Uh, yeah, the gang's all there. Let's go. The gang's all there. I do want to get a Swab Moon played. It sucks that uh, we didn't have one, because now we probably got to get rid of the Altaria. They could have Marnie me, though. Their hand is pretty big. There might be a Marnie coming our way. Oh, it is an ADP deck. Everyone's just playing ADP. That's three ADPs in a row, which uh, just tells you this format is really good. But, um, if it's another ADP deck, I mean, if we're beating ADP, then clearly this deck is doing something right. Okay, that's fine. They can't knock me out, right? Oh, I guess they could hit me with Mawile. That's not going to matter, though, is it? Marnie? <sighs> kind of sucks they played that now, because technically we could have... Uh, this hand was really good. That Marnie kind of sucks. We're getting Marnie at the wrong moment. But we got Marnie. If we can drop like a Pokemon here, we can still go Archeops. Let's we'll see if they get the ADP down this turn. Yeah, now I see why people don't want to play the game that much, bro. I just ran into three ADP decks in a row on the ladder. Isn't that so fun? Okay, another Intrepid Sword. They do get energy, and that's fine. We are going to hopefully take that away. Yo, con Oh, dude. So we're going to switch into Drachi, Stellar Wish, Evo, Incense. I honestly didn't expect to get that, because we just had one at the bottom of the deck. If not, I would have went Research Lab again, probably. But uh, let's go, bro. The gang's all here, bro. The Archeops, dude. Archeops, man. We're running pretty hot today. I'm not going to lie. This We're drawing really well with this deck, which usually never happens when I'm playing against ADP or, you know, making videos in general. Still didn't get a Swablu. That's fine. We can get another Archeops in play, which is pretty good. Do we even have Swablu in the deck? We do have one in the deck. We have Capture Energy, though. Shouldn't be that bad. We're just Hyper Beam. Get rid of their energy. They can't knock me out with Mawile, which is pretty good, so we're chilling. They could still go Metal Soft or E-Switch knockout. They have 140 HP left. So we hit them for if we hit them for 90 with a dojo in play, then we do 120. I think we would have been short by 10 damage. Yeah, we still would have been short on the knockout. They got a Meowth, another catcher. Will that get heads? It does. Bring in the other Archeops, that's fine. Well, as long as they don't Marnie me again to a dead hand, you know, we can still attack them. It's kind of good they're wasting their gust now, I guess. They do play ADP. Intrepid Sword? Alright, cool. Will they get energy, though, on the Zacian? They do. Good old Intrepid Sword. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know where to put this. I guess on the Jirachi? I, I don't know. Then we can't do Stellar Wish, I know, but whatever. That should have been a U-turn board, to be honest. Um, there's another hammer. Let's see if we get heads. A. I'll take the energy out the Zacian. Mawile isn't really too threatening. I'm gonna play this to thin the deck out. I don't think they play too Mawile. No! Oh, I shouldn't have taken that, because they can Marnie me. That's fine. Hyper Beam. Get rid of their energy. My opponent just... Yeah, they just can't do energy stuff. How much are Spurs? We got a bunch of Spurs left. If we knock out the Zacian, then we should probably tar target the targeting the Mawile. Which, how much are they doing right now? 40, 70, 100, yeah. One Pokemon off. Let's go. I do want to get Dojo soon, but we'll see. If... Oh, they have another catcher. They're just finding their catchers today, apparently. There's a Guru. I do want them to mention to Dene or a Bat, so we can just boss it up, knock it out. You know, take an easy knockout. Um, I want... Are they playing ADP? Though? I gotta assume they are, but I have not seen a single sign of an ADP yet. I just haven't seen any sign of them actually playing ADP in their decks. So I don't know if they're actually playing it or not. Hmm. This is where I want to use U-turn, but... Okay, never mind. They didn't get energy. Never mind. I was going to say, we want to use U-turn, but they didn't even get energy there, so... Oh, Gucci. Uh, yeah, just... Hyper Beam again. They can't knock me out. They can't... Yeah, my wild wouldn't get knocked out. It's only doing 100 damage. 120 with a Berserker. There's a Marnie, finally. There's a boss. Beautiful. So we can actually boss the Zacian, which I'm fine with doing. So next turn, they swing with Mawile. I'm fine with just bossing the Zacian. Actually, I might retreat into the other Archeops. Try to deny him a prize. Then we knock out, we bring in the Zacian, maybe? If they bench a Dedene, we can knock that out, too. We could also knock out the Oranguru. That's pretty useless, though. I think we definitely just boss the Zacian. 
Okay, they do play two mobiles, apparently. Why do they play two mobiles? I will never know. But, uh, that's fine. Because we have no basics in our hand. Because we don't play that many to begin with. They build the ADP, or the Zacian in one turn. Which, I mean, I actually don't mind. They have the hard to treat the Mawile, because we can remove the energies. Leave it with no energy on it. It's not that bad, actually, but... They will get a knockout, unfortunately. This thing is kind of annoying, because we do probably want to use Altaria here. I do think we bench this Fossil when we get knocked out, so we can try to get another Archaeops in play. They play a Skyla for a switch. No, dude. So they're gonna knock out Zacian. We can remove the energy, though. It's not too bad. Not the end of the world. This is where I want to get... A dojo soon. I just, I just want to hit them a little bit harder. I know we don't have the dojo activated, but I still just want to find it. I'm just going to promote the Archeops. Obviously, we can't go Jirachi. What do we top deck here? Calm? Okay. Put that down. Put that there. Fail it. And just attack and hope they don't knock me out again. They could get another Berserker. They have a two-card hand. They need, like, a Berserker, and they hard to treat the Zacian, which is good for us. I'll, I'll get a knockout, and then we just hit them with Altaria, and they can't damage me, so. Yeah, they need they need a lot here if they want to get a knock into my uh, Archaeops again. They could just go switch attach, but they have a two-card hand, right? They're in top deck mode. So, we'll see. Well, they have a Ringu. They can draw, what? See, they two see... They two... They, 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 I can't talk today. They see two extra cards with the Guru top deck. So, we'll see if they get anything. Nope. Just attach. All right. What else? They could swing with Mawile, which it looks like they are going to do, which is fine by me. We can boss his Asian up again. Kind of like that. We could also retreat into Altaria here, which I also kind of like also. Let's do it. Let's start putting some pressure on with Altaria. I'm not going to play the boss. Um, just yet anyways. I do want to get my other Swablu out of the prizes soon. So we can attach to the Arction, I guess. I mean, I don't mind doing boss actually on the Ranguru and then trapping it. What does this do? Does nothing? I need to find Dojo, so... I don't know. I kind of want to play the boss, but I kind of don't. I don't mind just hitting them for 60 here. They have a, they're, they're in top deck mode. Like They could drop boss's order, sure. They could also get a catcher. They are down a lot of energy, too. I could just speed dive. Just hit the active. We'll hold the hand. I want to get damage on these Pokemon. Like, our game plan at this point has to be just knock out these two Pokemon that are we've damaged that give up two prizes, right? So, just chill out. And if they do attach to one of the Pokemon on the bench that can damage Altaria, we will just boss that up and probably just... Maybe maybe we should have put energy on the Archaeops then because then we can retreat, boss out this, and then hit it with Hyper Beam. That probably would have been the better play, actually, instead of putting the energy on the Archon. I forgot about Big Eater, bro. Okay, that doesn't matter. They're still not, you know, damaging me, but I completely forgot about Big Eater. I just, just totally forgot that the Big Eater existed. That is actually kind of funny. It's not the end of the world. I forgot Big Eater existed. I am an idiot. Actually, surprised they honestly played it, to be honest, because... I, like... I'm honestly surprised they played that. Because we had nothing going on in our hand anyways. They didn't. Well, they didn't know, and they drew research. Oh, no, dude. The Big Eater, bro. I forgot it existed. Again, I don't think they would have even played it because we had a three-card hand. They got, like, no value out of that in general. Is it all trainers? It's all supporters. Kind of shocked they did that. I mean, it paid off in a big way. And they play Crushing Hammer. What else is in their deck? Crushing Hammer, Catcher, two Mawiles, apparently. What am I playing against? I'm assuming they're now they're not playing ADP. Like, I just... Haven't seen a sign of an ADP yet. I feel like we would have seen one come in play by now if they did play it. How much energy are they down? Four, five, seven, eight. They're down eight energy. They probably feel like, what, 12? Cool. They got nothing. So we get a knockout. And we just got a knockout to win. And they concede. Archaeops. This is too good. Anyways, guys. Oh, let's go. 307 coins. I was about to wrap up the video. Oh, can we buy two packs? One time. Yes. We can buy two packs. Oh, we're one coin off of 420, bro. Not like this. All right, we can buy two packs from the shop, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up the video, guys. Archaeops, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to buy an Undaunted. We're going to split the difference. We're going to buy the Undaunted pack I was talking about. 
Gotta buy a second Unleash Pack, too. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video, guys, on the Archaeops deck here. But before we do, let's open up these HSS packs. See if we can get any good cards. Again, Unleashed. Still a few primes I want. Also, Reverse Hollow Shaman. Shaman, in general, would be really great. A little bit on the Undaunted pack. We can maybe pull Reverse Hollow, Vileplume, Smeargle, Gliscor, or the Weavile. Now we got a Mankey Shaman. Bro, Lantern. I've opened up so many Unleashed packs recently, I have yet to pull that Shaman, bro. I might have to try pubs to get it. <coughs> Bless me. All right, here we go. Undaunted time. Reverse Hall of Vile Plume or something would be insane. Ooh, let's go. That works too. That's a good pull. Legend Box Reverse Hall. Love to see it. And a Miss Magius. Not bad. I already pulled Reverse Hall, so now I can have four of these. Cool stuff. Not a bad. Not bad at all. I'll take. I'll take that Undaunted pack for sure. But anyways, guys, I am going to wrap today's video on the Archaeops deck. Um, I pre-recorded this video and the Whaler Carp video back to back because I just, I need the weekend off because I am getting my new PC set up. So I need to do all the setups, transfer all the files to set up all the you know OBS settings and everything. So I needed a few days off of making videos, so I need to pre-record this. But I'm gonna wrap the video, guys, today on the Archaeops deck. Overall, I really did like the deck. I probably want to maybe play a couple more switching cards and maybe play like another dojo or something. Overall, the deck went really well. We beat arguably three ADPs in a row. It, it was too. You know, too early to tell if that deck was even playing ADP in that last game. It's safe to say it might have been. But you know what? If we just, just beat three ADP decks in a row, bro, I ain't complaining. I'll take it any day of the week. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, slap like the video. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Once again, guys, uh, check out Car Cameron down below. Use Coral the Epic Any Coach. Sub to the channel. Help me the road reaching 14k subs if you haven't subbed already. Also, I'll see you guys on another video tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Uh, and again, the first video on my new PC should be my OPOP match against the big YouTuber. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully in my next video, I will see you guys with better quality, better settings, cool stuff. Can't wait. See you guys there. Peace out.